Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced with another Stencil 101 video. Uh, there's not that much more to go over as it comes to stencil. Uh, remaining is um, slots. Okay, so what is a slot? Um, if you've used React, a slot is like using props.children. It's just a, it's a way to say anything that is a children of this component will you know how you're going to use it and slots exist in the web component API they exist in Vue I think they exist in Angular they don't exist in React because React has props.children to handle that so but you do have slots in um, here so let's go to my button let's create a slot or actually let's not create a slot first so let's say I decide to go to app home where I have my buttons Okay, and I decide to put an H1, an H1 that says hello world in the middle of these buttons. Okay, so as a child of these buttons, there's an H1 that says hello world. Let's see if that shows up on the screen. Okay, it shouldn't see, we don't see it. The reason being is that I have never specified where children of this component would appear, how they would be handled. So that's just not, it just doesn't exist. So what I would have to do is go to my button and I can specify, let's we'll say right below, um, uh, right below the title here, here's where we would put the slot. So we just put a slot tag and then that's where, and see now that hello world appears. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now what I can do, I can also make a name slot. Oh, Google Home, okay. A name slot would have a name property. So we'll say, actually it puts name equals cheese. Just my go-to whatever. Okay, I'll cut that. And actually we'll put that above the description. Okay. And basically if I specify what slot a child should go to. So if I go to this one and I say slot equals cheese, instead of rendering it in the default slot that had no name property, it should render it now above the description. So see, uh, let's see if it did that in the first one. Oh, see, so this one, see how the hello world is above the description, while in the other two, it's below the delectus out autumn because it's using a different slot. So you can actually have multiple slots um, to sit there and say, okay, this is gonna appear here, this is gonna appear there. This allows you to kind of slot in many children that'll appear in different places to kind of create a nice customizable, let's say like a card. So you want the image to appear here. So someone can specify the slots that they're trying to fill with those children, um, which is pretty cool. So that's that's all a slot is. It's nothing uh, super crazy. Um, aside from that, I think that's pretty much all the main knowledge, uh, at least at the moment. There is things like server-side rendering and other cool, like more advanced things with Stencil but getting used to just building some basic components with state, with props, with events, with slots is a good way to go. Okay, so now let's just show you how this compiler compiles. So I'm gonna go back to the compiler that's running. I'm gonna close it, control C, kill, the ter kill that uh, compiler. And now I'm gonna run npm run build, which will build the end result. So I hit npm run build. So now it's gonna compile. Okay, I should end up compiling it to this, oh, what it didn't like. Uh, it's likely additional output above, what it didn't like. Okay, so we'll see here. In order to be compatible with all event listeners on elements, the element name cannot start with a capital letter. Okay, so it wants me to change a few things. So let's just go one by one. I need to get rid of this unused listen in my button and change the event to a lowercase. So let's do those things. Okay, so let's get rid of the unused listen here. The TypeScript compiler being like, nope, nope, Alex, we want you to do things the way we want them done. So my event, lowercase. So then this needs to be lowercase. And then uh, here in app home, this should have to be lowercase right over here, my event. Save. Okay, and that should meet all of those. Let's see if it finds anything else. Okay, it's, it's compiling, okay, did, and it built it. Okay, so when it builds, 
it's going to end up building to this www dot folder. So here, see, here's the build, and see, there's all the files for the build, and what it, it would have built. Okay. And this whole www dot folder is going to be connected, so I can actually serve this folder. So I'm going to right click www. Uh, actually, really, what I want to do is open the index.html, open with live server. Mm, I think it has to, has to be like on a proper server. So when we deploy it, it should work. So let's deploy it. Let's do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do git add. Well, do we have a, a git remote, a git thing here? Nope. Okay, so git init git add dot git commit dash m uh, commit okay now what do we want is to connect this to github so let's head over to github and make a new repository new repository practicing stencil js okay so we'll call it I'll create the repository. We will connect the remote. Then we'll push up, git push origin master. Cool. Okay, now we refresh. Now my code's on GitHub. There it is. And now I should be able to push it up, connect it to Netlify. And let's see if that all works out. New site from Git, uh, connected to GitHub. I want to connect it to the stencil. Here we go. Practicing stencil JS is the one. Okay, so again, the command to build is npm run build. And then again, once it's done building, it should serve the www directory that's where it builds to so whenever you have these build setups you always those are the two things you want to figure out what is the command that builds the final output what folder does it build that out to in stencil these are the these are the results let's just make sure that that works okay so it's deploying it's pulling from the github let's actually just watch the output okay so it's going through all the things If I build, it's now it's running the build command. Okay, it finished building. Now it should start serving it. And build finish, saving Maven dependencies, zero functions. Site is live. Okay, cool. So let's go back to here. Let's take a look at the URL. And it works. See, there it is. So do, 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 do. Doot, 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 doot. Doot. Okay, so yeah, it works. That's 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 how you would deploy your application if you were to do it in stencil. Okay, um, if it were components, then it would. Com if you chose a component starter project, then it would just kind of give you some output that you can then use a script tag to include in other projects and just have those components available to you. So. You know, you would just take the stuff from the output folder and, like, let's actually just take a look. Because <coughs> that's technically what's going on here. Um, well, well, the index.html is all minified. But you can probably find the script tag if we look hard enough here. See, it's using the app root component. So basically, it includes that. Um, where's the script tag? Here's the script tag. So, see, like, it includes the um, build app.js. Which then includes all these other things. I think it's setting up and it sets it up as a module. So then those are going to import the other ones. So if I go over here and I go to app.js, I should see some imports somewhere. It's all minified, so it's kind of hard to read. Um, yeah, here's like the imports. Okay, and then it's, I guess it's doing it like iteratively. Um, and then these all have like. The actual code, but again, it's all minified, so it's kind of not readable. But theoretically, I could just include this code by including this app.jsm as a module, 
and uh, that would work. So let me just again take a look at the index.html to see how it included it in there. You can take, always take a look at the script tags and you can see exactly how it does it. So type module, build, it includes that. Yeah, so basically you just copy this build folder and then you can just copy these script tags and you can just use those same components in whatever project you want. That's theoretically how you could do it if you wanted to. Um, yeah, so my name is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. Have a great day. Please join the Slack and Discord channel over there at devnursery.com. Uh, like me uh, on, well, you can like me on Facebook too, Alex Merced Coder. Look up Alex Merced Coder. Uh, same thing, Alex Merced Coder on Instagram, Alex Merced Coder on Twitter, Alex Merced on LinkedIn. Um, not a hard person to find. So have a great day and enjoy.